Russian President Vladimir Putin has given the green light for up to 16,000 volunteers from the Middle East to be deployed alongside Russian-backed rebels to fight in Ukraine. Regarding the gathering mercenaries from around the world for Ukraine, we see them. The Western sponsors of the Ukrainian regime do not keep it secret. They do it openly, disregarding international law. The move allows Russia to deploy battle-hardened mercenaries from conflicts such as Syria without risking more Russian military casualties. Russia's main attack force in northern Ukraine has been stalled on a highway north of Kiev since the initial days of the invasion. Images released by private U.S. satellite firm Maxar show armoured units manoeuvring in and through towns northwest of the capital. It said images also show convoy elements further north have repositioned near Lubyanka, with towed artillery howitzers in firing positions nearby. Britain says Moscow could now be planning an assault on Kiev within days. It also said Russian ground forces were still making only limited progress, hampered by logistical issues and Ukrainian resistance. A video released by a crew of journalists accompanying Ukrainian soldiers shows troops advancing towards an unidentified location. We'll be clearing the village of orcs who occupied it with armored vehicles. According to our intelligence, there is a battalion there. Moscow denies deliberately targeting civilians in what it calls a special operation to disarm and denazify Ukraine. Putin says the operation is essential to ensure Russia's security after NATO expanded. Joanne Robson, NTD News.